Hey everybody, Jamie Shaw from Jamie Shaw's Marketing Show, and I'm sorry I didn't get something out there to notify everybody, but I've been having nothing but computer problems since I got home. I don't I, or internet problems. Nothing wants to load. Nothing wants to sync up. I just my page finally loaded where I can embed the code and get on here live at about 30 seconds till seven o'clock. So I do apologize and for not getting information out there. And I will do my best to do training on Funnelizer tonight. I don't know how well it's going to go because with my internet not acting right, I don't know if I can get into Funnelizer training, but we're going to attempt to. So I've got the page running to try to log into my back office and I'll get Funnelizer set up for you guys. But, uh, looks like a looks like it's starting to work a little bit better now so we will see but here in Illinois it's been a crazy day it poured and poured and poured and stormed and stormed and stormed today so I'm sure there's internet outages all over the place and that's probably why my internet is running slow get logged in here but hopefully things will go a little better once I as the show goes on but all right looks like everything's starting to load up fine now um, but you know you're probably wondering what is funnelizer funnelizer is a uh, basically a capture page maker bridge page maker a uh, powerful system that we use in the company i'm affiliated with and we use funnelizer to make capture page bridge videos <coughs> and stuff like that so the last two weeks you know i i do a little recap i showed you how to set up your blog where to get your information and how to set up your blog um, then i went through some of the plugins i went through uh, the bloom plugin how to set up um, the Bloom plugin so you can start capturing leads from your blog. I showed you how to get take a video and get a uh, content from your video. I mean, if you get an hour long video, yeah, it's going to be a big word or big old blog post. I fin finished my blog post of the one I did, and I think I end up having like five or eight thousand words. I think I deleted the last part of it off because it was getting so huge. If I left the last part of it off I think it was like 8500 words so I think I deleted part of it and posted what I had all in paragraphs and stuff like that and it ended up being right around 5000 words so it was crazy you know and that's a super long blog post and I haven't even really looked at how it's doing or anything so we'll look at it real quick and see if I got a spike in traffic or not because usually big long posts like that if they rank good you know they get a lot of traffic so Looks like everything's loading up pretty decent. It's a little slow, but that's okay. Um, at least I'm on here and on here live. And we'll we'll take it step by step and see how it goes. Uh, yeah, it looks like I didn't have a tremendous push in it, you know, so it's only been a day. I got published last night, so that's no big deal. So let me see if I can get into the finalizer training and everything's crazy crazy slow I don't know uh, it's got to be because of all these storms today everything's running super super slow but we'll get there uh pages loading up okay i've got finalizer loaded up, loaded up so i will go into a screen share and i'll show you finalizer so whoops sorry about that i hate how the screen share works all right, there we go. 
and you see I've got some some funnels set up and I don't show any numbers here because I don't I push them a lot I mean this one I use a lot and I don't pay attention to these numbers here because I use pretty links to mask my imp my um, my post so if I go over over to my blog and go to pretty links you see I got my bridge uh, bridge funnel right here it's got 33 to it or bridge funnel right here it's got 25,007 people that clicks on it and unique hits 24,038 so I mean we can look at the numbers of it and see what kind of traffic is getting today you know and it's getting I mean not overwhelming traffic but it's getting traffic to it because I put it on all my YouTube videos so um, go back over here into funnel I wanted to actually what I wanted to do I didn't want to go into the funnel I wanted to show you what it looked like we want to go preview so as that loads up so this is a, basically a bridge video and I have it set up in there it has a video right there and the video might not load up because of my internet running super slow right at the moment so but it's got a video and it you know and the video says you know hi my name is Jimmy Shaw before I got into network marketing I was having a hard time understanding how networking worked and since then I have Let's see how to how to go since then. I'm trying to remember exactly what the video said. Since then, um, I've started to understand how the system works. Now, I'm, and the best part is that now I'm getting leads and sales from it. And, and, and that's kind of the, the jive of it. That there's an actual formula to it that uh, I'm not covering tonight, but there's an actual formula to the video that you want to use and. That formula, you know, is kind of a secret. Uh, it's not really a secret, but, you know, uh, I was taught that formula by a mentor, and that's the formula I use. But, you know, in, in the bridge, you have the title or the headline, you know, a small title. And you want know, to capture email, or I mean name and email address. And when they click on the button, you know, they get, they go over to the next page, which I didn't put my email in, so. So it's not going to work. So if you want to set one up from scratch, and we just want to make a, you know, a capture page right now, and uh, see if I got anybody making chat comments in the chat. And I don't have any comments in the chat, so that's fine. Uh, oops. Am I still screen sharing? Yes, I am. So we'll go back here, then we'll go back to the funnel. And we want to create a funnel. We'll just create a simple capture page now. And you can name you gotta have a slug in here, no spaces in the slug. So keep it simple. Create my funnel and we're gonna click a template and you can use any one of these tips templates but we want to opt in page is what we want and let that load up real quick and then we're going to use background image opt-in template and we want to give it another name Page and edit. Uh, 
and it's going to take a little while for it to load up because like i said the internet is running slow so <laughs> running super slow because it's not one to load up there it is okay so you have a you know a headline and i'm just going to leave the headline that's up there for now and this for a little bit i mean i always come in and put change this to 2017 you actually should go get a copyright uh legal disclaimer from your company whoever you use to promote you know whatever products you promote you should put make that a link and make the privacy policy a link and the service use a link and that send to your page that's up to you to add yours in there so uh on this we can select background image and we can change the image here you know change to whatever you want uh i'm gonna leave the background image we got because it's on the beach it looks pretty awesome um you can choose to do nothing here if you click the email box you want to and you can have these tabs over here on the right too where you can change the headline and the sub headline and my form and the copyright all the copyright information you can change all that but we're working on my form the first thing you want to do is i made a mistake I'm starting right here so i'm going to go ahead and continue then we'll go back but uh oh i think i have some videos uploaded but you want to add some integrations in so so you get you got name and email and you want to keep it like that so so that's just showing email so we want to add email name why didn't it show both of them so i want to add go to integrations tab i'll go back we'll come i'll come back to the form field um i want to add integrations you want to add your aweber account and whatever list you choose mine's always set to default list and hit add integrations then if you're using the system that I'm using, MLSB, new lead, and citing an integration. Close that. Now, all that stuff's integrated in with it. Now we want to edit the form. We want to name, add name. And we want, that. sorry, that's what I was, <laughs> being late, trying to cram everything in got me flustered you know and so i'm off my game a little bit you want the name in there because you want to capture their name and their email so close that and now you got name and email in there so it's just a simple capture page well now what do you want the let me in button to do you want the let me in button to go to a url and we're going to go back to our system here and go to uh my campaigns As soon as that loads up, again, I apologize for my page running so slow today. Uh, it, like I said, all the storms and stuff we've had here today, that's why it's running so slow. That's why it's taking so long for this to load up. But I'm going to stop my screen sharing for a bit while it's loading up because my computer's running slow enough that it's going to take a minute for it to load up. So as soon as it gets loaded up, I'll go back to screen sharing and I will show you guys, you know, what link to put in there. <clears throat> Basically, you want to put the link to, you know, an offer or a video from, from your page. You know, you want to stand in front of people and then point them where you want them to go. And that's what the capture page does and then we'll do it i'll do a bridge video next and show you how to do the bridge video and i'll show you how to get everything integrated in with it and then we'll go from there come on what's going on so now it wants to act goofy since it's all working fine I might just go grab a link somewhere. I 
let's see. Um, I'll go into my Biz Builder Mastery and get a link. Oh, okay, never mind. I am back. It finally loaded up for me, so let me go back to the screen share. If you guys, you know, you guys that are watching, you know, if you want to sign in and and chat, you know, feel free to sign in and ask questions and stuff. That's the only way you're going to learn anything. Is ask questions. You see, I've got some some areas here. I want the generic funnel, and you just go up and click the magnifying glass, and it should load up and uh, give me a link. But if not, I already copied that link from another from my pretty link. See, it's just crazy, but it's got the link in there, so we'll copy the link. We don't care. Go over and we want to put that link right here. So basically, you're sending them to this, and you, if you check this box, it helps them. It helps from uh, collecting erroneous emails. You know, somebody wants to put their crap email in there that don't go to nowhere. That's supposed to help uh, stop that. So. You know, and you can change the background color or gradient stuff like that for the for the tab. You can change the hover color and change it to a solid color. We want the hover color, you know, or whatever. I always leave them to default because it looks fine like that. So, and you can even change this text to the let me in you can change just get in now or whatever you want to do and if you want to look at the page of property you can go over here and you can give it a seo title and seo description and, and keyword all that and you can you got a head tracking code you can put in there so you can copy your uh um facebook pixels code and you put it in there uh and the in body tag you can do the same there your facebook pixel stuff you can enable exit pop-up me message if you want to and you can you know change your background style again there i usually don't set the seo settings i leave it like it is and then we go in and save our changes and then we publish our changes and then we can close this editor And we have to go to variations and we have to go start the variation and then we can go publish funnel and the, if you get an error when you hit publish funnel it's because you haven't started your variation you have to start your variation all the time and delete a funnel you have to pause the variation so the funnels running so we can close this editor now as well and uh And what did I name that thing? Uh, simple capture page. So now we can go look at it. I can get the URL. I just copy the URL. That way, don't take me out of this page. So there's your your. Uh, Simple gap capture page. So if they put in their name and email, it'll take you to you right to the top of our hangout. And see, the video is not going to load up. There'll be a video right here. Actually, you know what? I grabbed the law, wrong link. We need to go back and edit that. So let's go back and edit that. Somebody send me a message. All right, we'll go back. Uh, edit page.
and get this baby to load up. Actually, we'll go over here and get the correct link while that's loading up. We actually want to go to the second button and we want to get the special link. Because if, if I use this link here, they have to put in their name and email address again, and we don't want them to have to put in their name and email address twice. So if this ever loads up, I'm going to come out of screen sharing while that loads up. And because it seems like it loads up a little faster when I come out of screen sharing, broadcasting live, and then with my internet running slow, everything runs slow. So <clears throat> usually it's pretty fast for me. But for some reason tonight, well, like I said, all the rain and stuff that we've had over the last, well, it was, I think it rained all day yesterday too. So we've had like two days of nonstop rain. So it's been crazy. And today it stormed like crazy and crazy and crazy. And uh, so let's go back to a screen share because it loaded up. And I told you it'd load up as soon as I uh, come out of it. Okay, so we what we want to do is we want to edit this link here, go paste, and then we want to save changes and then publish changes. And now we close out of that, and we close out of that. And then we can go get URL. It'll be the same URL. And see that I don't like that nasty link. That's why I go into pretty links here, you know, and I make a custom pretty link. You know, it's that's the same link there. And then they get to see my blog name, jamesjshaw.com. And then I put mastery as a slug in there. And it's Biz Builder Mastery is what it is. And then you tell it I wanted it to be a no-follow link, and then you just hit it'll say uh, create link and then you got a new fancy link that looks good instead of putting out this goofy looking link so paste and go so there let's try it again and that's my actual email address so if you guys want to send me an email message and ask any questions go for it I'll respond to you that's my personal email so it should go over to the presentation page and then there's the video right there <coughs> and it introduces them to the system that we use you know uh, and then you can take a $10 test drive by clicking this link and, you know, find out what the system's all about. There's amazing training in this system, and uh, it's well worth the $10 trial. I'm going to pause that because I don't want it to play. But there you go. That's it. That's a simple, easy funnel. So we're going to take that, and we're going to pause it, and then we're going to delete it because I'm building it for purposes of training. I don't want to use that. You see, I've got a couple here that I've got paused that I don't haven't been using because I want to redo them. This one's got a pretty good opt-in rate when I was using it. It's a Facebook cheat, and it's got a bridge video in it and everything. I actually, uh, actually, I don't know why that's paused. That shouldn't be paused. There we go. And I've got one for the Workshop Warriors, which I need to change the name of that to the Workshop Warrior Institute instead of 24 Marketing Workshop because it is now the Workshop Warrior Institute. And uh, we're going to make a new funnel now and we're going to make a bridge video. And the easiest way is to call this one Simple Bridge. And your slug, you want all one word, simple bridge. 
fuck it spell. B R I D G. All right. So create a funnel. I'm going to check comments, see if anybody's asking questions. Uh, those comments. Uh, it still works. It's going to be slow too because I'm on here. There we go. Simple suggestion for SEO help. Hi, Terry. How are you? Glad to see you. Um, Rob Ford's SEO training in the back office. Probably the best SEO training on the market. Rob Ford is an SEO expert. And his training is by far the best I've ever seen. I've taken a few SEO classes, but doesn't hold a candle in that. And uh, the Sam method, Dave Ranke's Sam method, he shows how to rank YouTube videos and stuff using SEO methods. And that that's probably the second best one I've ever seen. Uh, so... Oh, you guys have to see me type a comment live. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go to an opt-in video again, and we're going to look for one with a video on it. And there's a certain one I like to use. Let's go down. Uh, simple opt-in video. This is the one I like to use. So we want to give this... Uh, I just give them the same titles all the time. So I can tell what they are. Like I said, the, the slug, you cannot have um, a space in it. It's got to be one word. So while that loads up, I'll come out of screen sharing and see how everybody's doing. See if uh, anybody's got any more trick questions. Uh, I hope that helps, Terry. Um, hope you're doing good. You know, I, I miss you. And, uh, you know, if you guys don't know Terry Miller, go out and follow her. She's, uh, she's an incredible lady. Um, she's had tremendous struggles. She's had seven back surgeries, I think, and one next surgery. And she just had a, a complete knee replacement and december and uh you know she still comes around she still shows up every day she shows up for the workshops um i mean she's a recovering alcoholic she's been through the bottom and climbed her way back up and she climbs her way back up every day and the thing that impresses me and inspires me most about terry is that she shows up all the time and that in itself is more than I can say about a lot of people that a lot of people make excuses of why they can't succeed. Terry don't make excuses. She just shows up every day. And this is still loading. Of course, it, when I get to the video one, it's going to be a pain and it's not going to load up right, but it's okay. We'll give it a few minutes. And, uh, you know, like I said, if you're not following Terry follower, she missed a, she did a Facebook live earlier. I was trying to watch it, but my internet wouldn't let me watch it. And uh, I didn't know she was live or I would have been on there with her. And, uh, or I wouldn't not been on there with her, but I would have joined, you know, and made comments in the chat. You know, when I, I see she's on, I try to get on. And, you know, when Dave's on, I try to get on. Of course, Dave has a hard time doing Facebook lives in South Africa because of his internet connection. You know, and Katie, well, if she's on live, I get on, you know, wonder what if she's on live, I try to get on live, you know, but I don't always see the messages and I don't always see the notification until it's already over with because, you know, I'm at work when a lot of you do your lives. So I have a hard time listening to them when I'm at work because the boss has been my office an awful lot lately because she promoted me to a full supervisor and she gave me the hire the power to hire and fire so um, I, she put a big responsibility on my shoulders so <laughs> so I don't take responsibility lightly you know and even though I want to retire from my job I still take it seriously and I go in and give it 110 percent every day you know but my long-term goal is to retire and 
but I can't tell her that, you know, I, I, got, I still got to go in and do a good job every day, but my mindset's shifting, you know, out of the mindset and, uh, or the, out of the employee mindset to the entrepreneur mindset. And that's something important. Of course, this thing ain't wanting to load up now. So let's go back. All right, let's try it again. I'll wait for that to load up. I got something to drink, and then I forgot to bring it in here with me. But that's okay. And I apologize for this being so slow. And I can, why it's loading up. <coughs> now, talking a little bit about pretty links, you know, like I showed you. I use Pretty Links a lot. It's just a plugin in your in your uh, blog, and you just activate the plugin. You go in and start setting Pretty Links up. I always cloak my links that way. Instead of when somebody clicks on the link, instead of it saying, I mean, they'll see jamesjshaw.com say bridge. Instead of seeing that, you know, when I click on the link, they'll see my my ugly funnel link. So if you cloak it, they won't see that. They'll see jamesjshaw.com slash bridge all the time. So that's why I cloak it. And it helps people look at you as uh, they're your legitimate. Because when it seems like when you look, hey, Dave, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, I'm glad you're here, healing, Terry. You know, uh, I miss you too, but what's most important is you getting healthy and you getting back to, to yourself, you know, so you need to take the time and get yourself all healed up and everything. You know, I appreciate everything you've done for me in the past and you know, I'll, I appreciate everything you'll do for me in the future. But, uh, my main focus is getting you healthy. And cause when I know you're healthy and you're in your right mind and off that medication, you're a powerhouse and you can be, seriously successful in this business and be one heck of a rock star so get healthy and then we'll focus on getting you in rock star status <laughs> how you doing dave i haven't talked to you all week it seems like it's been forever i'm trying to do this funnelizer training and my internet is not cooperating because we had serious thunderstorms here today i mean torrential downpours all the ditches are full and everything so I'm experiencing some of the stuff you experience with a bad internet connection tonight. So I got the capture page showed to everybody, you know, in the first half, but the second half, my, my, uh, funnels not wanting to load up. So let's try it again. See if I can get it to load up with a different page. It's not one to cooperate, cooperate with me tonight. All right, funnelizer. Okay, so I got two funnelizer pages open, and both of them are trying to load. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I call that simple capture page. I thought I called it simple bridge video. I don't know. It's not loading up, but we'll go back. And I call it simple capture page. Okay, so let me try starting this up again. And if I can get it started up, then I'll share the screen with you guys. Actually, no, I want to cover something first before I go into that. So I will go back to the screen share and I'll show you some setup stuff on when you're, if you're going to use videos and stuff um, and make a, I hate when that does that. Okay, if you're going to make a bridge video, first you want to make sure your videos are in there, which you want to go to settings. And you want to, first thing you want to do is make sure you're integrated your AWeber account into your MLSP. So you see, I've got AWeber added in there and I got my Lead Sister Pro added in there. And just hit add new integration. I can't pick AWeber again because I've already got it active. But uh, say get response, you put your get response in there, put your API key in there, save integration, and you get your API in the in the back office under 
my account account details get response api and you can integrate your get response in here and then you can integrate your my lead system pro there's other stuff that you can integrate in here like uh mailchimp you know i know uh wonder what uses mailchimp so you can integrate mailchimp in here webinars on air which is what I, the platform might use for my hangout i can put it in there uh more sport entre report i don't use them i don't know don't even know what they are and active campaigns i'm not sure what they are either because i don't use them i used to use get response but i like aweber much better so that's why i use it so after you get your integration set up you want to go to media you know and you can do domains too you can do a subdomain through finalizer and have a subdomain set up i don't i just have my normal domain is that i could map if you need domain mapping set up instructions they're right there in text there's also instructions in the back office on how to uh, map a subdomain to your uh, funnelizer so you can use a subdomain in it but we want to integrate our media and see I've got some pictures in here I've got um, some videos in here and you want to make sure you whatever video you use for your bridge page you bring in here so to add a new video you just add a new video enter the video name and paste in the YouTube link I always upload them to YouTube and I use a YouTube link and uh, <coughs> so Let's see if anybody's got any comments. Hi, Maria. How are you? But, uh, Let's go back over there. You want to make sure you get your YouTube video integrated. Like I showed you how to get your YouTube in there. Then we can go back to the Funnelizer. Any pictures or any videos you're going to use, you got to make sure they're uploaded. So let's go in and edit this. Hopefully it'll load up this time. So I've been playing around. Go here and go edit page. And I'll stop screen sharing while that loads up because I don't know how long it's going to take. Um, <coughs> yeah, I, I know that, Dave, and I just I haven't figured out how to fix it, so uh, I've just been leaving it the way it is. All right, you put that drink I got out in the refrigerator. My wife brought me supper. She always brings me supper on Thursday night. Because I'm doing my live shows. Cheese curds is only supposed to be mine. Oh, to, she switched both fries out for cheese curds. Oh, that's fine. So, so that's still loading up. I don't know if I'm going to get to the video part of it or not because I'm still having problems loading up with our internet. Um, I mean, I restarted my computer, restarted my modem, I restarted my router, as Dave says. <laughs> and uh, it's it's still slow, so I don't know what it's doing. If you, uh, one thing you can do, test your internet speed is go to www.speedtest.net and run a speed test on your, on your internet and see what kind of speed you got going on it. I'll do that right now and see what's going on because my internet is really, really slow. That page is still trying to load and it's not loading. So, so I may have to do do this again next week when I have a better internet connection, and uh, I'll continue this funnelizer training. But I'm going to try to get the page up to load up. So, if it don't, I'll put it over in Google Chrome. It's, that's an idea. I just see if I can get it loaded up in Google Chrome. Because Google Chrome seems to be running really good. Firefox is not running good at all.
Yeah, see, I'm running at a 0.32 of my internet speed. I'm supposed to be running at a 10, 10 to 11 kilobits per second. So that's why I'm having such a hard time getting everything to load. So they have some internet issues around town with all the storms and stuff. I'm sure there's lines and stuff down everywhere. Um, these pages aren't going to load up. It was working just fine, but now all of a sudden it doesn't want to work. So my downloads, my upload speed is just terrible, or my download speed. So let's see if I can get this page to load up again. I'll stop it, go back. Try one last time to get it loaded. If it don't load, I'll, I'll go load up one I've already done and show you how to do it. And again, I apologize for my internet speed, but it's kind of out of my control. You only worry about the things you can control and don't worry about the things you cannot control. Um, let me see here. <laughs> you you always say you say root or two as well, Maria. That's cool. Now you're thirsty, day boy. You got time to get a drink. The stupid page ain't loading. I'm gonna go to my bridge funnel that I've already got set up. See if I can get it to load. Uh, because it's already running. Let's go. Uh, I'm going to load it up and show it to you guys first. And actually, I've got two bridge funnels. One has, uh, you know, just about me being a network marketer before I got into network marketing. And the second one is about, a fa you know, about the Facebook campaign. So I actually have two bridge funnels. <clears throat> the one I had paused, Facebook Cheat, that's my other one that I use quite a bit. And, uh, so so you can have more than one i think with MLS, with funnelizer you can set up to uh 15 ca custom capture pages and stuff and then after that you're kind of on your own on on this on where i host my webinars i have uh, optimized press and i can make other capture pages and optimized press but uh Actually, I might have to show you this in parts because my YouTube or my bridge page ain't loading up either with the video and everything. So uh, I can go in to YouTube and maybe show you the video. Yeah, I'll actually, I'll actually play both of them for you because my funnel page isn't loading up correctly, but I'll show you what it looks like. So actually, uh, see that page ain't loading up either. So I'll go back to here. Let's see, that's my funnel page. And like I said, there's a YouTube video in right here. That page still ain't loading up. The editor ain't loading up. It's because of my internet speed. But the video I actually have in here is for the bridge page. I have this video here, network marketing. And I think I showed you guys this Saturday on the workshop. See if it loads up or not. But like I said, I use a simple little formula. And I'll play the video for you so you guys can hear it. If it'll play. Hi, my name is Jimmy Schaub. Before I got into network marketing, I was having a hard time getting leads and sales to all my offers. I didn't understand the marketing part of it. The first thing I noticed was as I dug into the marketing aspect of the business, I learned how to market in different platforms like YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter, and Facebook. Since then, I'm able to market on different platforms 
and the best part is that I'm getting leads and sales to my offer. So if this sounds like something you're interested in, put your name and email address in the box below, and I'll show you the exact system that I use to get leads and sales to my business. So that's that one. Then I'll show you the Facebook marketing one I use because it's a little different. But it, I use the same formula, and I've taught this formula in our workshop. So. Hi, my name is Jamie Shaw. Before I got into Facebook marketing, I was having a hard time getting my ads approved in Facebook. It seemed like everything I did, Facebook always disapproved my ads. The first thing I noticed was I downloaded the PDF and the video, went through the video, and the PDF and the video has step by step instructions on how to set up your Facebook ad properly to meet Facebook's guidelines. Since then, I'm able to get my ads approved with no problem using the PDF and the video to set up my Facebook ads. The best part is that now I'm getting my ads approved and I'm getting leads and sales to my website, to my offers. So if this sounds like something you're interested in, you're struggling with getting your Facebook ads approved, put your name and email address in the link below. And click on the link. It'll take you to another page. At the top of the page, there's a, a blue link that says PDF download. Download your PDF, watch the video, and you'll be on your way to getting your Facebook ads approved. So there you go. Simple little videos to put in there. And uh, you just put it in here just like I showed you instead of the one, you know, you just take your YouTube link that you have uh, open this up back up this link here you want to paste it in there in place of the video um, I'm I'll do this training again next week because of my internet speed being so slow um, actually hopefully you guys just aren't getting a black screen that's what it looks like um, let me find out how to get out of here stop screen sharing okay there we go so hopefully you weren't just getting a, a black screen in there and you actually got to see the videos or but I apologize you know I will do it a follow-up training next week and when my internet connection is better and get this to go so you guys can uh, Uh, evidently it's not going to cooperate with me and it looks like you guys were only getting black screens it looks like all of you are still here though but uh, it's not cooperating with me it's not going to let me show you how to put the video together and put the video capture page together so um, I will do a second training next Thursday night and show you guys how to do it I've showed in the workshop before you guys have access to that training um, it never hurts to show again you know some people like to see it two three times before they um, have access to it so they have access to it you know and you know in the train in the workshop you can't download the video you know and you used you went out and got the program that I've suggested about downloading videos you can take from my show and go download that video and go to my channel and download that video then you have it right there on your desktop and you can watch it all the time excuse me but uh you know I appreciate everything you guys all the comments you did and everything and I'm really sorry that this is not turning out I never even thought that I would had a you can understand the formula that's good you know the formula is really simple you know and I've gave it to you before Terry and you know 
I was taught that by one of my mentors and I've taught it to the workshop several times and uh, I need to get back into teaching it. Um, my time, my turn to run the workshops coming up in a couple weeks uh, and I got to start preparing for what I'm going to teach because I have no idea. Uh, I've actually been looking at a business life coach program. It's a 10 part series and it'll teach me how to be a uh, home, you know, how to be a proper business coach and a life coach at the same time. It's a, a two parts. It's a certification actually. And I'm looking at it real hard to jump into it. And like I said, it's, it's a 10 part series and it runs about 500 bucks. And, uh, but the lady that teaches it is she is world class, you know, and it's not with MLSP. MLSP has outstanding coaching, you know, and I got the, um, the MLSP roadmap, which is part of the, the discussion or part of the coaching program, you know, but I just didn't have the funds to go all the way into the full coaching program. Well, I can take this business coaching program and still get the same kind of benefits that I'm getting from MLSP. And, you know, this lady is, uh, she's a world renowned coach. You know, she does life coaching. She does uh, business coaching. She does entrepreneur coaching, you know, and this is based around entrepreneurs building up their brand. You know, the first module or the first series, you know, um, part one is uh, branding yourself and how to brand yourself properly. And, uh, you know, then I don't remember what module two was. There's, you know, marketing and there's online marketing. There's, uh, you know, there's all kinds of different sections. Like I said, it's 10 parts, but I think I'm going to invest in myself and I'm going to buy this program and, uh, I'm going to take it on, you know, so I can become a better coach. And that's one of my biggest goals is to become a better coach and a better leader. So hopefully I can get the most out of this. And I've learned off this platform before I'm actually taking uh, a cybersecurity class on the same platform. And I've got, I'm in module two of it, which is covering networking. And, you know, some people can't do that you know, take two multiple classes and keep focus. I don't know why I can't, I'm just wired that way. I'm able to take two classes at once or two or three classes at once and just stay focused and be able to do the things I need to do. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's good to invest in yourself and that's what it is. It's an investment in myself, an investment in my team. You know, Terry's part of my team and I want to be able to, you know, provide good value for my team and my team's only going to grow as I grow, you know, and if you're not growing, your team's not growing, it's because you're not doing, you're not educating yourself. You're not doing the things you need to do to help yourself grow and your team grow. I can't do all the work for my team. They have to do the work, but I can point them in the right direction. And as a, a coach, a business coach and a life coach, you know, I can help point them in the direction I can help solve some of the things that's holding them back. Like the wake up call, you know, Brian Finale talked about, or even last night, you know, I listened to that call last night. A uh, uh, question was asked about what if you have all the skills but you're not taking action. And Brian told what was probably the cause of holding, holding back, you know, and I think that's me, you know, that was, I didn't ask that question, but that's me, you know, because sometimes I, I take a lot of action. Sometimes I don't. And there's something inside of me that holds me back a lot of times. And I, you know, it may be something from my childhood. It may be that I don't think I deserve to be successful. I don't know what it is. I haven't never figured it out. You know, the deep abyss, and the workshop warrior institute has helped me change my whole attitude my whole perspective and my whole uh thought and help me find what i love to do which is teach but uh there's still something missing and i i have to find what it is you know nobody can hold my hand and show me what it is no system's going to show me what it is uh no mentor no leader is going to show me what it is i have to find out what it is myself and that's where going into certain educational products will help you, you know, um, 
I've got the Deep Abyss. I've got the MOSP roadmap. I've got the attraction marketing system, which are all great systems and great programs. And they help me out a lot. But, you know, I need to spend some time with a coach to help me figure out what's wrong. And this coach, I think, uh, will help me along the way. You know, it's not that I don't want to invest in MLSP's coaching. It's just, it's pretty pricey. <laughs> Let me know. I've been through the discovery phone call and everything, and it's pretty pricey. So, um, you know, and it's not that I don't want to invest that much money in myself. It's just, you know, sometimes you just don't have the funds to invest that kind of money in your find alternatives that are equally as good and invest in that, you know, um, this, like I said, this program's like 500 bucks MOSP's coaching program. I think starts out bare minimum is like $1,500, you know, and that's, you know, when you have vehicle payments, house payment, you know, uh, utilities, you know, food, groceries and stuff, you know, that's a lot of money to invest in, in something. And, uh, you know, you have to look at, you know, what, if it, if it's going to put you in a bind and stuff like that. So, uh, you have to weigh your pros and cons, you know, that's not the only MLSP is not the only coaching program. And, and I'm not knocking MLSP because I love the system that they have. And, you know, and I really wish I had the funds to dive in and take the coaching from them, but I don't. So I have to look for an alternative coaching program. And that's what this is. And it's, and it's equally, uh, Let me look it up real quick. It's equally, you know, a quality program itself. And uh, I can't remember the name of the the actual uh, company that, that does it. Um, let me log in real quick and I'll, I'll check it and I'll tell you guys what it is. <clears throat> if my computer cooperates. And of course, it's not going to cooperate. <laughs> let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Try to get that to load up for me here real quick. <clears throat> Excuse me. And of course, it's not going to cooperate, but um, but it's uh man, I wish I could remember what it was called. It's trying to load up. So, why see if that'll load up? I still got a few more minutes. If it don't load up, then I will get that information you guys you know and tell you what the name of it is later on um, it's just not one to cooperate with me tonight like I said I'm running point three and I'm usually running 12 so that's why my internet's so slow that's why my screen went blank you know and I'll try another browser and see if that helps one of them will load up, one or the other. <laughs> it looks like neither one of them will load up, so it proved me wrong. <laughs> but that's okay. You know, uh, like I said, I promise I'll do a follow up training on Funnelizer next Thursday night, and hopefully, we don't have severe thunderstorms and stuff again and knock out my internet. You know, I even on my phone, I only have two bars in here, you know, and usually I have. So there's lots of, there's probably power lines down everywhere and stuff like that. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and end the call tonight since nothing is loading up for me and I can't really train you guys on anything. And again, I apologize and I will do a follow up training next Thursday. So I want to thank all of you for coming and joining me tonight. And uh, I want to thank Dave and Katie or Dave.
for all in being in the chat and whoever else was in the chat that didn't log in and make any comments. And uh, make sure you hit Pastor Jackie's live tomorrow. Uh, you know, look for Terry or Dave or Maria doing their lives. Maria's been doing, you know, quite a few. Uh, Terry's been doing quite a few. Dave always does a blog post and a video every day. So be on the lookout for them. And uh, Monday night, come over to 24-Hour Marketing Mastermind and hang out with Dave and Katie and Pops and myself. And then Tuesday is Maria and uh, uh, Sonia Harris's show, Marketing Systems at Work. And uh, if you scroll down through the chat, there's all the links down there at the bottom. Uh, and then Wednesday night, we have Pat Patterson's Wisdom Wednesday. And then back here next Thursday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the Jamie Shower Marketing Show. And we will cover Funnelizer again. So thank you all for hanging out with me, and I will see you all next week.